I went to the doctor. All he did was suck blood from my neck. Do not go see Dr. Acula. <laughs> Dr. Scholl makes foot products. Dr. And he's a doctor, so he went to school for a long time. But it doesn't take a lot to figure out that stepping on a cushion will be more comfortable. <laughs> that guy wasted lots of time at school. Because I would have bought that shit from a Mr. Scholl. Maybe even a Senior Scholl. Senior Scholl. <laughs> Hey, I'm Lane. I'm Tian. And this is Wow. wow. What? what? Hmm. hmm. So reaction show. Wanna welcome you to the Dead, Dead Comics Club. Club. We uh Oh, let's call this meeting to order. Oh, I'd like go. to call this meeting to order. Okay. What do we do here, uh, Lane? Here at the Dead Comics Club, we pay tribute to the great comics of the past who are no longer with us. Right. We are doing a series on the uh, the memorable Mr. Mitch Hedberg. Mitch Hedberg. M Mitch, hey, Hedberg. Mitch Hedberg, man. Hey, man. It's uh, John Panette's uh, roommate. Hey, John. Hey, John. You John, wanna... let's have some fun. You, John, you want to go get some waffles, John? It's just hey, the pancakes with, uh, <laughs> that, that trap the syrup in there, John. Pancakes what? with syrup traps, John. John, why, why do you only eat pancakes? The waffles <laughs> are so much better, John. It traps the syrup in there. In our imagination, John Panette and Mitch Hedberg share an apartment oh. at, on the beach at Santa Monica. Uh, they're renting from uh, their landlord's name is Mr. Furley. <laughs> Mr. Furley. Mr. Furley and uh, yeah, yeah, and Suzanne Summers uh, is uh, is their next door neighbor. Uh, and so, yeah. and they have to take care of their little nephew uh, Louis. Louis Louis Anderson. Their little Louis, their yeah. nephew. Wouldn't that be a great sitcom? It, like this, to take, um, him, take him ice skating. Yeah. Hey, John, look, man, they got some beaver tails, man. Hey, hey. And then Louie's just sitting there. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, we're having fun. This is, uh, this is our latch uh, of our, in our Mitch Hedberg series. We're going to watch his very final um, appearance at the Just for Laughs uh, mm. Festival, 2004. And mm. so this is about a year before he passes away. Okay. So, mm. so this is his third time at Just for Laughs. Yeah, yeah. We've so, seen yeah. Three. So, we've seen yeah, so we're going to uh, review that. Anyways, before we get into our reaction, we mm. want to say oh, thank yeah. you to uh, some subscribers. We want to give away some merch. All right. Yeah, we got the best subscribers uh, on mm. YouTube. Which All of you. This All great, you. great uh, community here. Everyone's just, uh, you know, encouraging because uh, everyone likes to have fun, mm. likes to laugh together. Most of you are encouraging. Yeah, yeah. We ignore the ones that mm. don't. Every video we make, we we, we pick out um, a subscriber who's leaving a comment and we, we just pick their name and uh, send them a shirt. Send them a shirt. So we got all these different designs. We got the, the, the John Panette collection with the John Panette sayings. Uh, I'm thinking about doing some Mitch Mitch uh, Hedberg hey, saying. Gotta get some uh, Hedberg hey, shirts. Yeah, merch. Mitch, uh, Hedberg merch. Who, who's right. the winner today? Who's Here's the winner? Our winner today. Drum roll. Right. Who is it? It is uh, Mora. Mora. What did it say? Mora. <laughs> it is Mora Taylor. Mora. Two six eight one. Mora Taylor. Mora. Yeah, yeah. Mora Taylor. Mora Taylor. Uh, check out. Is that a girl or is that a? I don't know. Mora. Mora. Uh, so Maura Taylor, check out our merch store, pick out a shirt, uh, you get a mug if you want, uh, and then uh, tell us where to send it, Here, the email us here, wildwhatton at gmail.com, All right. right, Maura, Maura Taylor. So anyways, we're, we're going to watch this Just for Laughs 2004, All Mitch right. Hedberg. Here we go. Mitch Hedberg. I like to wear this pass because it helps me know when I'm upside down. <laughs> hey, uh... I was getting my teeth whitened, but then I said, forget that, I'll just get a tan instead. <laughs> I saw a billboard, it said, estimated at Lotto Jackpot, 55 million. See, I didn't know that shit was estimated. That would suck if you want to go, oh, we were off by two zeros. <laughs> we estimate that you are angry. <laughs> I like rice. Rice is great when you're hungry and you want 2,000 of something. <laughs> You like rice too. I saw a commercial on late night TV. It said, forget everything you know about slip covers. <laughs> so I did. <laughs> and it was a load off my mind. <laughs> then the commercial tried to sell slip covers, but I didn't know what the hell they were. <laughs> you guys are cool, man. Canada is all right. 
I like the American-Canadian border because if you're walking along the border with a friend and you push your friend into Canada, he can't push you back right away because first he has to go through customs. <laughs> what brings you to Canada, that asshole? <laughs> when you leave it, when I regain my equilibrium? <laughs> I went to the doctor. All he did was suck blood from my neck. Do not go see Dr. Acula. <laughs> Dr. Scholl makes foot products. Dr. Scholl. And he's a doctor, so he went to school for a long time. But it doesn't take a lot to figure out that stepping on a cushion will be more comfortable. <laughs> that guy wasted lots of time at school. Because I'd have bought that shit from a Mr. Scholl. That's it, Mr. Scholl. Mr. Scholl. Maybe even a Senor Scholl. Senor Scholl. I got a belt on that's holding up my pants, and my pants have belt loops, I hold up my belt, I don't know what's really happening down there. <laughs> Who is the real hero? <laughs> I walk by a dry cleaner at 3 a.m., and the sign says, sorry, we're closed. You don't have to be sorry, it's 3 a.m. and you're a dry cleaner. <laughs> it would be ridiculous for me to expect you to be open. I'm not gonna walk in at 10 a.m. and say, hey man, I walked by at three and you guys were closed. <laughs> Somebody owes me an apology. <laughs> Sorry. I called the hotel operator. She said, how can I direct your call? Well, you could say action. <laughs> and I will begin to dial. <laughs> then when I say goodbye, you can yell cut. <laughs> and if you want, you can wear a beret and knickers. <laughs> Is a hippopotamus a hippopotamus or a really cool apotamus? <laughs> hey man, if you're a fish and you want to become a fish stick, you have to have very good posture. <laughs> you can't be a slouchy fish or you will be a fish clump. <laughs> I went to the store, I bought eight apples. The clerk said, do you want me to put them in a bag? I said, oh no man, I juggle. <laughs> But I can only juggle eight. If I'm ever here buying nine apples, bag them up. <laughs> I got a new CD. It's in stores. And when you have a CD in stores, you have to do in-store appearances. If nobody shows up, I just pretend like I'm shopping. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's how I shop. I sit behind a table with a pen. <laughs> I hate to dream. Dreaming takes energy. Sleeping is supposed to be a rela relaxing affair. I lay down on the bed. It feels great. Next thing you know, I have to build a go-kart with my ex-landlord. <laughs> what? Hey, if you can't sleep, count sheep. Don't count endangered animals. You will run out. <laughs> Candace. Candace I order the club sandwich all the time, and I'm not even a member, man. I don't know how I get away with it. <laughs> club sandwich. I like my sandwiches with three pieces of bread. So do I. Well, let's form a club. <laughs> okay, but we need some more stipulations. Yes, we do. Instead of the cutting the sandwich once, let's cut it again. Yeah, that's true. Hell yeah, four triangles. <laughs> we'll position them into a circle. <laughs> and in the middle, we will dump chips. Oh. <laughs> or potato salad. Cool. I can deal with that. <laughs> Let me ask you a question. How do you feel about frilly toothpicks? I'm for them. <laughs> <laughs> Well, this club is formed then. Yes. I like to take a toothpick and throw it in the forest and say, you're home. <laughs> Some people think I'm high on stage. I would never get high before a show. Because when I'm high, I don't want to stand in front of a bunch of people that I don't know. <laughs> that does not sound comfortable. Yeah. Like when you're high and a joke doesn't work, it's extra scary. Yeah. It's like, whoa, what the hell happened there? <laughs> I am retreating within myself. <laughs> why have all these people gathered? <laughs> and why am I elevated? <laughs> why am I not facing the same way as everyone else? <laughs> and what is this electric stick in my hand? <laughs> I like the way this is situated here. It seems like you guys were chasing me, closing in, then said, F*** it, let's sit down. <laughs> <laughs> all right, thank you very much. All right. <laughs> all right. <laughs> All right, man, Mr. Mitch Hedberg. You were, Thank you. Were, you. <laughs> Wait, you were chasing me, and then you just said, oh, no, I forget it. Let's sit down. Let's sit down. I like it. I like it. Man. Yeah, man, I feel, I feel for the guy. Feel for the guy. Mm. Man, he, he probably had a, a lot of difficulties doing this. Yeah, if he yeah, was yeah, really yeah. freaking out every time, 
uh, had that stage this fright. This one even more like, you know, hair. Yeah, his hair face. was covering and, yeah. and his uh, uh, glasses and, and got the, darker. The, the glasses, yeah, like, you can't even see his yeah, eyes Yeah, he, he had the Bono glasses He did on. have those Bonos. Yeah. Just like, yeah. you know, blue yeah. tint, like yeah. that. I like this bit on on the the Senor Shoals. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Doctor yeah. Shoals. Yeah, you know, right? You would get that from a Mister Shoal. Yeah, or even and a Senor Shoal. He you don't he, have to be a doctor. He said, uh, "His his don't go to <laughs> don't go to Doctor Acula. He just <laughs> yeah. he just sucks he, he just sucks, sucks your blood your... <laughs> out, out out of your neck, Doctor <laughs> Acula. And hey, we got the dead comics club, but he he wants the sandwich club or the club sandwich. The, sa the club sandwich club. Yeah. That's a good club. Club I mean, sandwich club. Yeah, uh, three breads, <laughs> yeah, frilly three breads. toothpicks, <laughs> four triangles. Yeah. Very specific. Let's get the sandwich. Yeah, that's yeah. Good. This guy's really smart. I, I could imagine him being a a uh, a writer, a joke writer, oh, like in a yeah. writer's room, uh -huh. like one of these mm -hmm. late night shows mm -hmm. or something like that. Yeah, and just one after another. Yeah, yeah. real quick, real quick. Yeah. yeah. So we're liking this. Hey, uh, we would love to get more suggestions. We we found him because you guys suggested. Uh, mm -hmm. Doing a series on Mitch uh, Hedberg. So if you have some more good stuff that we never heard of, mm -hmm. right? So it, it's a little bit embarrassing for me because I consider myself a you know a fan of comedy for many many years. Yeah. But literally just found out about John Panette, just found out about Mitch that's, Hedberg that's just within so the true. last few months. Mm -hmm. I never we never mm -hmm. watched any of it, their stuff. Mm -hmm. So that there's hope. That means there's stuff out there, pearls yeah, untouched, and treasure, right? treasure, buried yeah. treasure out there. There must be some good <laughs> stuff out there. Yeah. So, anyways, thanks thanks for tuning in. All right, I'm Lane. I'm Tian. And this is Wow. wow. What? Hmm. hmm. I need to go to Senior Shows. All right. Hey, hey John. Hey, hey John, let's go get a club sandwich, man. Hey John, you want to join the club? Join the club sandwich club. <laughs>